mag-ipon pero sami kayo sige kaon. Gusto pud ko mag-ipon pero naghan makai kog bayron nun. Gusto ko mag-ipon pero gamay man ti kong sweldo. Girl, kung gusto ka mag-ipon, dapat wala na lay pero pero. Dapat gusto ko mag-ipon kun saon. Hey, what's up mermaids? It's your girl Cherlyn and welcome to another Drowning Mermaid video. Diba, dagan magigit kayo sa to ang uh, gusto ka yung mag-ipon, pero dagan ka ayo tag pero. Dapat, no more bots. Just do it. Ingon gani si Rico Blanco. Ayaw may dahilan, kung gusto palagi merong paraan. Ganun. <laughs> And yes, we all deserve to treat ourselves after working our asses really hard. But it doesn't mean that you have to splurge all the money that you have just to treat yourselves. We should have our limitations. You know, spending money is just like love. If you give it all, you will be left with nothing. So save something for yourself. Aww. If you're interested to know some of my frugal tipid habits, just keep on watching. Tipid tip number one. Every centavo counts. We often think that the reason why we can't save is because of the huge monthly bills that we need to pay. But actually, it's the small daily spending that's making us broke and go out of budget. When I was working on graveyard shift, I bring my baon in the office. Let's say I wasn't able to eat dinner at home, kaya magdali-dali na ako padalong sa work, ginabaon na ako ang luto ni mama, o oh, dito na ako sa office pag break time na ako. And that saves me a lot of money because, you know, especially pag panggabi mo hang duty, ang open lang ana most of the time kay fast food. And normally you'll spend 100 to 150 per meal. For me, even if I'm working, I can't afford that. <laughs> I don't know, sayangan ko sa kwarta and mas lami ang luto sa kumama. Aww. Coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, so. This is really an advantage for me, but I have a lot. I know a lot of people who's into coffee or a coffee lover. There's nothing wrong at all about it, but if you're drinking Starbucks every day or every night, I think that's not healthy for your savings plan. And another thing with transportation, kung kaya lang jud ako mag jeep, mag jeep jud ko. Kung pwede gani baktas na ako kung duol lang mo baktas sa jud ko. Taxi ko kung ulan or kung emergency or kung kailangan jud ka ayo but if not girl i'm fine with jeepney it takes effort ti maghulat ka sometimes mo no kaayo pito pito daw nya yeah, siyam nakabok naglingkod but it really helps me a lot in saving when we're growing for me what i always do is I find an ATM of my own bank. For example, I'm at the mall, tapos I need money, and my bank is Metro Bank. Bahalag layo, lagi ka ayo ng ATM machine sa Metro Bank. Baktason jud na ko na, because sayang mapud good, di ba? Sometimes you are charged 10 to 15 pesos for withdrawing sa dili ni mo bank. And sayang, that's already pamasahi pa uli. And whenever you have something that you wanted to buy, always do your research or always compare prices kung asa ka mas makabarato, di mo palit ka. Also, go generic. There's nothing wrong in buying branded items as long as you can afford and it's within your limit. But for a frugal person like me, I would think na, okay, this looks good, but I think I can find an item the same as this somewhere na mas barato o mas affordable o mas achieve na ko. I would rather look broke and have savings in my account rather than look rich but have zero in my pocket. Tip tip number two. Ask yourself, do I need this? If the answer is no, then do not buy and do not spend money. If you're only buying it because naibog ka kay mo hang amiga na ingon ana, don't buy it. That's toxic girl. Yes, it's normal na sometimes na iba ibog jud tano kung unsa tong naa sa ato ang kaila o nakita na to sa uban. But we have to consider if we can really afford. If you can, then go ahead buy it. But girl, it's not healthy if you are saving or if you're saving for something and also we don't know diba 
um, maybe dato sila or na ay kaya iyang mamagpapa, gipalitan siya. This sounds cliche, but live within your means. Under this, we have impulsive buying. Sometimes we go to the mall and then we see something on sale. It's 50% off. My God, dami kayo paliton kay sayang sa, di ba? But again, ask yourself, do I really need this? For example, ibog kaayo ko sa um, Charles and Keith na bag. Yes, of course, I can afford. But I keep on asking myself, is it really a need for me to buy this bag? Afford man. Pero, isn't it that I have more or other priorities that that's more important than this? And you know, sometimes, sometimes makatawa na lang ako sa mga sarili. Today, niad to ko sa mall and then it's on sale. Oh my god, this is the item that I really like and it's on sale. But then, I challenge myself. Okay, balikan ako in siya after a week. If it's still here, then I'll buy it. It's for me. But mostly, like as the day goes by, I realize na ko, magmakalimtan lang malimu siya mo. Oh, okay, never mind that. That means I don't really need it. Every time po na balikan ni mo na siya na item normally kaya wala na. So that means I don't need it, and I was able to save the money that I was going to spend. Next, we have tip number three: huwag mangutang. Don't utang when not necessary. You know, a lot of us or most of us go broke because of utang. We tend to spend the money that we don't have yet. Sige, let's say you went to the mall. Nag sales si Forever 21, kay na bankrupt sila, and then you were there. Like 200 na lang ang mga items, 399, and whatever. So you have a friend. Tapos pinit ka na, uy, friend, po utang ako bis, well, man ako uma, bayaran na ng tika. That means, wala pa ginisay mo ang kwarta na gasto na nimo. And you know, most of us, that's the reason really why we go broke. Kay wala pa ganin isa tuwa ang, wala pa ganin niabot ang kwarta na gasto na. Advance na kayo ta mag-isip. And again, that's not healthy for your savings plan. And last but not the least, tip number four. Think like you're broke. So let's say you've already started saving, or let's say na swell dun mo ugma, ayaw guna huna ang na kay kwarta nga mo abot, or ayaw guna huna ang na kay kwarta si mong pitaka o sa imong hang savings. Just forget about it. Because sometimes when good, when we think na na kay kwarta magsaligta, or I don't really bring my ATM with me, ginabili na ko siya sa balay, ginatago na ko siya sa konsininaan somewhere na makalimtan lang na ko siya. And also, I would highly suggest that you open your personal savings account. There you go. That's everything. Again, these are all my personal experiences when it comes to saving. These are my, my frugal, tipid habits. I am no expert, but it worked for me, so it might actually work for you as well. Since childhood, I can remember that every time my mom and dad or Nino or Nina or if somebody gives me cash for Christmas or birthday, I don't spend it right away on food or dulaan because I keep my money in a piggy bank and I can remember that my alcantia before was katong butanganan o pulbos na Johnson. The way I think is that dili sana ko nigastuhon para managhan. So saving is just a matter of self-discipline and knowing your priorities. guys for watching if you like it give it a thumbs up also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos stay amazing